Canyon Lake, California is a city of 11,000 people in Riverside County, about 70 miles southeast of downtown LA. It's a nice looking community surrounding a lake where it features parks, beaches, a marina, and a golf course. And like any city, it has a city council, fire department, police department, and all the other basic municipal services. But you can't go there. You're not allowed in. It's almost entirely gated. The only part that isn't gated is a shopping center across the street from the main gate. They'll let you spend your money in Canyon Lake, but don't go near their residential amenities. An entire gated city is a bit rare, but gated communities are common. Millions of Americans live in tens of thousands of gated communities. New ones are built all the time. But why are they so popular? And are they good for our cities? So let's put a definition out there. What are gated communities exactly? They're private communities that restrict access using gates, walls, landscaping, or other barriers. Security may be provided by guards or key card access. Canyon Lake is protected by some fences here and there, but the gates at its three entrances provide the greatest level of security. Gated communities first appeared in Sunbelt cities as retirement communities, but gained popularity in the 1980s. Wait, what happened? What was the night era. doing it by? found in all regions of the U.S. and are common and popular abroad as well. <clears throat> to right, guys. Today we are doing the diamonds. Oh, I guess I already did one. Let's do them one and the nine. Please give me ten million, Zenny. Uh, only one five extra diamonds, guys. $4.99. See what we get. These are places where residents own their property, but also own property or amenities in common, such as parks, schools, or clubhouse. Housing co ops are a form of CIC, just in the urban Only 20 extra. No, good. The rest of the building is owned in common. You pay money to a home. Right, the last one, and the nine cents. Those fees go to paying for the upkeep of those shared amenities. Just a quick aside, but you can easily tell if the community is private on Google Maps by trying to use the Street View tool. Street View cars won't go into private communities, so you can get a quick map of what's public and what's not. In most CICs, infrastructure like streets and stormwater systems are also private. The streets are private so they can deny access to people who aren't supposed to be there because, hey, it's private property. But it also means those roads aren't the city's responsibility to maintain. Oh, guys, I didn't really get nothing there. Just a regular with fewer services. Residents pay full taxes and HOA fees to maintain the private property. This may seem like a bad deal from the point of view of a resident, but it's a great deal for the local government. The local government gets all that tax money. They don't have to repave roads, plow snow, unplug storm drains, and maintain parks. In the largest gated communities, the HOA can act like a second government residents pay taxes to. In Hot Springs Village, Arkansas, the largest gated community in the U.S., the Property Owners Association has a staff of about 475 in departments that sound a lot like a real city. Public works, planning, public safety, and golf. That's all work that the local government doesn't have to be doing. There's another unlikely benefit to common interest communities. They can often be designed better than a public neighborhood. Now, in most places, the design of a CIC must meet the same standards as a public one. But since the local government won't ever be taking over the maintenance of a CIC's infrastructure and amenities, the government often lets things slide that it wouldn't otherwise. Designers of gated communities may have an opportunity to experiment with novel design concepts. One famous example of this is Village Homes. The CIC <coughs> Everybody's the leaving me. No. <laughs> okay, what else do I need? What am I doing? Go here, close. So I got a new helmet, guys. Power Man helmet. Ooh. 
but this is truly a common interest community. Residents buy into the neighborhood and the environmentalist philosophy. The result is a truly innovative and amazing place to live. Yay. So far, this video probably sounds like you get paid now. CICs and gated communities. You can be safe, prestigious, and environmentally sensitive while generously paying taxes to the local government. Yay. But there are still many negative <laughs> gated communities, and they largely outweigh any positives. Gated communities create a physical landscape of fear where we wall ourselves off from others. This quote really sums it all up. Gated communities turn a vicious cycle by attracting like-minded residents who seek shelter from outsiders and whose physical seclusion then worsens paranoid groupthink against outsiders. A study of gated community residents did interviews with those residents. While they don't represent the thoughts of all people, they highlight some of the problems with isolating yourself from others. Here are a couple of excerpts. Who lives in your community? People who are retired and don't want to maintain large yards. People who want to raise families in a more protected environment. What do you mean by that? There are a lot of families who have, in the last couple years, actually built since the crime raid or the reporting of that crime raid has become such a prominent part of the news of the community. There's been a lot of fear flight. My daughter feels very threatened when she sees poor people. How do you explain that? She hasn't had enough exposure. We were driving next to a truck with some day laborers and equipment in the back, and we were parked beside them at the light. She wanted to move because she was afraid those people were going to come and get her. They looked scary to her. I explained that they were workmen, and they're the backbone of our country. They're coming from work, you know, but... These are cherry-pick examples. Nearly all of the 20 interviewees in the study mentioned that some fear of others are crying in their interview. But the ironic thing is that gated communities may not even deliver on their promise of security. Yeah, so number one. Still steal your we got the chicken coop. Wow. So lame. Whoa. Such a lame thing again. Whoa, another bester. Nice. Whoa. Like the 20th X. Wow. <laughs> Better be right here. Nope. Nope. And it says, no, senor. And no, get out of here. And keeps telling me, get out of here. What am I doing here? <laughs> cities is the mixing of cultures and the possibility of a shared prosperity. The gated communities turn their backs on that image of the city. So gates may keep people out of these communities, but I'm not sure I want to be let in. There is one community you will definitely want to be a part of, and that's the online learning community over at Skillshare. Skillshare offers so mad. courses on design. I'm getting nothing good. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on must-know topics. So you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. My favorite Skillshare classes are the ones in art and design. I'm always looking to improve the graphics on this channel, and I definitely have picked up new techniques thanks to Skillshare. Join the millions of students already learning at Skillshare today with a special offer just for my viewers. Get two months of Skillshare for free. To sign up, visit the link in the description and get two months of unlimited access to over 20,000 classes for free. Act now on this special offer and start learning today. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon, particularly Christopher Facundo, Alex Zero, and Ron Fundasi. Thank you so much. God dang, it's like the 20th fucking Doom X. This is so annoying. So mad. <laughs> 